Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about interior and exterior angles. What are they? Well, to help us on, we have two lines right here, and those lines do not have to be parallel. In this case, they look like they're parallel, but they don't have to be. When they're parallel, there's some additional conditions that we can talk about. We'll do that later. So, in this case, they don't have to be parallel. And then we have another line that intersects both horizontal lines. And so that creates eight angles. Angle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so they're related to one another in some fashion so that we have names for them. For example, angles three, four, five, and six are between the two horizontal lines, so they're considered interior angles, and that's what we name them here. Three, four, five, and six are called interior angles. And then the angles that are outside the region between the two lines, angle one, two, seven, and eight, those are therefore called exterior angles. Also, there's a relationship between the position of the angles. Notice that four and five, so four and five, and three and six, notice they have the same measure. So angle four has the same measure as angle five, and angle three has the same measure as angle six. So therefore, well, in the case, of course, that these lines are parallel, if they're not parallel, right, if they're different angles, then that won't be the case. But if they're parallel, then you can see that these will be the same size. If they're not parallel, they will not be the same size. But irregardless of that situation, they're called alternate interior angles. So in the case that these lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are equal to one another or congruent. If these lines are not parallel, then they're not equal or congruent, but they're still called alternate interior angles. So three and six are considered alternate interior angles. Four and five are considered alternate interior angles. And then if we look at the outside angles, again, if these lines are parallel, notice that angle 1 and angle 8 will be the same, angle 2 and angle 7 will be the same, again, only if those lines are parallel. If they're not parallel, then they're not the same or congruent. But irregardless, we can say that angles 2 and angle 7 are called alternate exterior angles, and angle 1 and angle 8 are considered alternate exterior angles. And finally, notice that angle 1 and angle 5 look like they're the same. Again, if these are lines are parallel, then they will be exactly the same. So angle 1 and 5, angle 2 and 6, angle 3 and 7, and angle 4 and 8, those are four pairs. Those four pairs of angles are called corresponding angles. They correspond to one another, and therefore they're called corresponding angles. So in summary, we have the, we have the interior angles, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have the exterior angles, 1, 2, 7, and 8. We have the alternate interior angles, 3 and 6, and 4 and 5. We have the alternate exterior angles, 1 and 8, 2 and 7. And finally, the corresponding angles, 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, 4 and 8. And those are the naming conventions we use in geometry to, to describe angles in this particular format. And that's how it's done. 